Already 11, two men are now indicted in a deadly shooting. This happened in Stone Mountain. One man is a former DeKalb County police officer. The other is a current police officer. Tonight, both are preparing to turn themselves in. The victim of the shooting, Mirando Salmon, died in November of 2022. He was 36 years old at the time and a father to a six-year-old little girl. Tonight, 11 Alive's Cody Alcorn is live from the DeKalb County Courthouse. And Cody, you were there when the district attorney made this announcement. When that Salmon's family has been pushing for ever since that shooting. That's right, Jennifer and Ron. In fact, back on February or on December 6, 2022, we spoke to Miranda Salmon's sister. and She told us then she would continue to fight for justice for her brother. Here we are nearly 450 days later. She sat right next to the DA here in this courthouse behind me holding her brother's picture as the DA announced those charges. And back then, she told us her brother was renting a home when he was shot nearly just five miles from this courthouse in Stone Mountain. On November 4th, 2022, DeKalb County police officers Jordan Vance and Russell Mathis Jr. responded to a home on Autumn Crest Court in Stone Mountain. About a stolen car parked in the driveway it was a Friday night around 11 o'clock. Officer Vance knocked on the front door of the house, which swung open. Officers Mathis and Vance entered the home. In their indictments, the DA says the officers walked into the home without permission and failed to identify themselves as law enforcement while on the second floor. As they cleared the house, Officer Mathis opened the door of a second floor bedroom and encountered Miranda Salmon sitting on his bed in the dark. It's what happened next that will be argued at trial. The GBI said in a statement on December 6, 2022, the initial GBI statement indicated that Salmon reached for a nearby handgun before he was shot by officers. Further investigation has determined that an officer opened a bedroom door and Salmon threw an object at the officer. Although the officer did not see Salmon touch a firearm, he was reaching for a nearby item. Later, agents recovered a handgun from the room he was in. Wednesday afternoon, the DA described it like this. Mr. Salmon had thrown a cell phone at Mathis. Mathis believed it was a knife. In a matter of seconds, Officer Mathis opened fire, shooting and killing Mr. Salmon. At the time of the shooting, Salmon was unarmed. However, a holstered gun was later recovered in his bedroom. I will note that Mr. Salmon was a lawful gun owner. I can tell you Mathis was allowed to resign last year. As of tonight, as you mentioned, that Jordan Vance is still a DeKalb County police officer, unless that has changed since his indictment, we have not been told. Now, what you're seeing right here, these are the consent bond orders. It's basically a prearranged bond. Mathis will get an $8,000 bond. Vance will get a $3,000 bond. Both men have until Friday at 5 p.m. to turn themselves in. And Cody, we're going to follow this every step of the way. Thank you for the update.